Well, I wanted to go off script here, but oh I'll, uh, no, no, no. You get a heart attack, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll save some questions for the end. Okay. Uh, so let's go on as uh, we planned. Um, the last thing you mentioned, the the class um, struggle, the the rules of the wealthy, uh, brings us to this um, topic of uh, class division and so on. And I uh, remember that a lot of leftist theoreticians are considering the flow of immigrants as the new workforce or the new proletarian class that is going to be the base of new leftist revolution. So I wanted to, to ask you, how do you see the, um, in, on which side of the class divide do you see the, the immigrants? Is it Look, I will not fake and say, my God, I'm surprised by this question. <laughs> but I think it's a proper question because I think we should not, in a patronizing way, this is the most subtle form of racism, to patronize immigrants as poor, innocent people, and so on and so on. My ultimate example here is, I spoke with a couple of you yesterday evening and this morning, and I was told by many of you that you like this movie, uh, uh, Parasite, the South Korean one. I think it's an excellent film, because, you know, it demystifies the poor the poor who live in the basement or what, they are not portrayed as nice people with a heart. No, the nice people with good heart kind are the richer one up there. Why? Because I think it's somebody says in the film, you know, when you are rich enough, you can afford to be nice and so on, you know. So I think, again, the worst kind of... Uh, Patronizing is for me this portrayal. No, poor people are often brutal and so on, because, my God, that's how they survive and so on. The solution is not to idealize them. They are really nice people and so on. The solution is to change the circumstances which made them like that. And here also, this is how I would reply to a complaint with many of many me, 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 men who claim, I support feminism, I'm for women, but nonetheless I feel sometimes brutally manipulated by women. Of course, they are really subordinated, they have the right to do it. That's the way for them to fight. What do you think if you are a man, that we oppressed women, but they should be these nice, angelic beings? They have the right to be brutal often, to fight, to fight back.